Hey guys, today I wanted to show you here the Raspberry Pi 3. I just got in the mail. This is from a company called Vi Vilros. The Raspberry Pi 3 complete kit comes with a clear case and it has a 16 gigabyte SD card preloaded uh, for booting into Linux. Uh, here we go. So you can see the board itself, compact case, comes with a power supply which is basically a, a wall outlet to power the device. Um, a micro SD card preloaded with noobs, SD card adapter, heat sink, uh, okay, and then an HDMI cable. Okay, that, that's cool too. So let's get into this. Let's open this up. Here's all our stuff. So, we can see here that we have a quick start guide. This will be nice to have. I've actually never owned a Raspberry Pi or even an Arduino board or any of that, so I'm gonna be first time messing with this kind of stuff. Um, that'll be useful. And then right here we have our standard HDMI cable. I uh, already have lots of these, but yeah, wouldn't hurt. Doesn't hurt to have another one, I guess. So, it's pretty good. Looks like, uh, maybe six feet, something like that. And then here we go, here's the uh, power supply unit. This is, oh yeah, it's just, um, yeah, it's a micro HD, or micro USB plug there, um, and then just a normal wall outlet. So that'll be pretty easy to get up and running. Uh, eventually we'll probably move over to some kind of battery source uh, so we can have mobile power, but for now this will let us power the unit. And then this is actually the clear case. Um, pretty happy uh, getting one with a case because that'll allow me to keep it a little more protected. I don't want to damage the, the board itself. So Case seems okay. It feels a little bit flimsy to me just at first glance, but it's actually not bad comes with two little screws. Uh, that's probably for mounting the board or something. Oh yeah, I can see the two screw holes there, so that's probably for mounting the, the Raspberry Pi to the to the case. Um, it's very nice and clear. It has a the Val Vilros logo there. But uh, yeah, all the um, actually all the ports are marked here. So we have the micro USB power right there. We have the HDMI cable right there. Audio jack. It's like over here we have the uh, USB. Uh, well, actually, this is the Ethernet probably, and then these are USB uh, 2.0, which I believe it has four of. And then there's the GPIO slot right there. So everything has a cutout. Um, including a few cutouts on the top, which and looks like this is actually oh this is cool this is actually um, mounting here for the uh, for the case itself if you mount it to uh, another piece that's pretty neat and then we have a SanDisk SD card looks like uh, 16 gigs yeah preloaded and it comes with a adapter here in case you need to load that into your computer or something card reader. Okay, and then I guess the the heat sinks here. These got little guys. They got looks like sticker backings on them. Um, and I suppose you. I bet it says in the uh, instruction manual. But I suppose you apply these to the board itself. Uh, so we might do that. All right. So here we go. Raspberry Pi three model B. Uh, this just came out. I think this year. Fairly fairly recently. Uh, predecessor would be the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Uh, this one has features wireless LAN uh, built in, so you don't need a little dongle anymore. Bluetooth, you got, um, let's see, okay, cool. So it has one gig of RAM, uh, and I'm sure we'll get more specs on it. Uh, I'll probably over overlay them on the video here, but one gig of RAM is listed here. I know it has a I think it has a quad-core processor. Oh yeah, and it's quite small, quite small. That's very cool. So here's an actual safety guide. That's not too important. And then we have the board itself in an anti-static bag. 
So if we take a look at the board itself, very small, very, very compact. So this is it. And you can see here that it has the processor. Here's the GPIO pins. Um, as I said, four USB, one Ethernet plug-in. And then over here, there's the audio jack. That was um, the HDMI for video out. That is the micro USB for the charging, which we can actually power up the device. And then over here, this is actually, what is this? Um, that would be opposite side here. Oh, this is for um, the SD card. Right, right. So SD card goes in there. So actually, it looks like, um, yeah, it looks like it accepts the full SD card, actually. So the micro SD card goes into the adapter, and the adapter goes into the to the plug. Okay, or into the into the card, rather. So yeah, it's very cool. Very cool little board. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I just purchased this. And I'm going to be messing around with it pretty soon, so uh, I need some ideas on projects, but what I was thinking was probably, um, well, first of all, I'm just going to probably get this thing booted up and just mess around with the uh, included interface. It has, it should be able to boot basically as a little, little computer, um, and we can even get on the internet very easily. So we'll try that, but main, mainly I want to work on... Uh, making some kind of a autonomous vehicle so very excited about you know all the news of uh, Tesla auto driving cars uh, of course the Google the Google auto driving cars they're really neat so obviously we're not gonna get to that kind of level but we're gonna make something that can drive a vehicle that can that can control itself and can maneuver around obstacles so we want to be able to we want to be able to build something like that. It's going to require some coding, which should be quite fun. I think I think this is a uh, coded primarily with Python. I could be wrong, but so we're going to look into that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna make some more videos probably on this guy. Uh, I probably will make a video once I get it booted up, just to show that off. And we'll just use a standard. The standard uh, power and everything that's and included with the the SD card will boot everything up standard, and then we'll start messing around with it and actually making some some more in-depth videos on on what we could actually make with this. So I do want to build something. I probably will need if I'm going to do an autonomous project, I'll probably need some additional uh, components such as uh, you know a sensor or something to detect to actually detect those objects. So we'll be able to plug those in through this GPIO um, headers, I believe. But yeah, so thanks for looking at this quick unboxing. Um, first look at this Raspberry Pi 3. I'm really excited to try this out and see what's up with it. So thanks for watching.